The Senate quietly released a bare-bones report late Thursday on what a statement called harassment settlement data, showing that nearly $1.5 million in taxpayers' money has been spent over the past two decades to cover claims against lawmakers and other Senate offices. The two-page release contained no names of senators or victims. It said $599,000 was for 13 settlements involving member-led Senate offices, while the remaining $853,000 was for 10 settlements involving other Senate offices. The Senate's Rules and Appropriations Committees released the information on the evening of Congress' final work day this year. It came during a period that has seen several lawmakers resign or announce their retirements following sexual harassment accusations and growing condemnation for the secrecy with which Congress has guarded information about such cases. While the release called the information harassment settlement data, none of the terse descriptions of each case used those words. Four of the cases involved sex discrimination, including two that also involved reprisal, while most of the rest were for race, age, or disability discrimination. The document said the largest Senate settlement was $421,000 and was for race discrimination and reprisal. Similar figures released this week show $342,000 in federal funds has been used to settle workplace discrimination cases involving House members between 2008 and 2012. That included almost $175,000 for sexual harassment and discrimination allegations. Harassment in the workplace should not be tolerated, Rules Committee Chairman Richard Shelby, R. Alla, said in the statement, particularly not in the United States Senate. He said his panel wanted to release the information in a transparent manner but its priority was to protect victims from further harm. The statement said the data came from the Office of Compliance, which oversees the congressional workplace. It covered 1998 through 2017. Meanwhile, the House Ethics Committee expanded its investigation of Republican Rep. Blake Ferrant hold of Texas beyond its inquiry into sexual harassment allegations to determine whether he lied to the panel. A congressman under scrutiny for allegations that he sexually harassed female staff members and created a hostile work environment announced Thursday that he will not seek re-election next year. Rep. Blake Ferrant hold, R. Texas who settled a complaint with his former communications director but denied. A congressman under scrutiny for allegations that he sexually harassed female staff members and created a hostile work environment announced Thursday that he will not seek re-election next year. Rep. Blake Ferrant hold, R. Texas, who settled a complaint with his former communications director but denied. The House Ethics Panel said it is also reviewing whether Ferrant Hold or someone acting on his behalf directed his congressional staff to work on his campaigns. House employees are free to work on campaign activities on their own time, but doing so at the direction of a lawmaker is an impermissible campaign subsidy. Ferrant Hold, who has announced he won't seek re-election to a fifth term, is already the subject of an investigation into whether he sexually harassed a former member of his staff and retaliated against her for complaining of discriminatory conduct.